I had a little program I wanted to share with you guys. And first, I just wanted to share the definition of what nesting is. It'll make more sense uh, from a manufacturing setting. Nesting refers to the process of laying out cutting patterns to minimize raw material waste. Um, and now this isn't talking about the material or the tool you're using to cut it out. It's just talking about how many pieces of your widget can you cut out of this material that you have. So the tool doesn't really matter too much. <clears throat> I mean, it kind of focuses on lasers, but you could print this out. You could use scissors, knives, bandsaw, CNC, laser, whatever you want to do, you know, um, sewing stuff, you know, uh, flight test, foam board stuff, whatever. So the program is called Deep Nest, and you just, just Google Deep Nest. I'll have the link down below. It's free super easy to install, super easy to use. Um, now, in my particular case, the reason I found it was I have an interest in getting a Glowforge. And if you've looked at their materials, I'm doing air quotes here, their materials, that's what they call the sheets they sell you from their store. It's like 20 inches by 12 inches, quarter inch material, and you're talking like 7 or $8 up for a sheet. That's one of those. When I know for a fact I can get, you know, a nice full thing, you know, full sheet of plywood from the, you know, the, um, hardware store, like $30 even, let's just say it's $30. I, if I cut that up, I know it's going to be cheaper than seven. Well, how many sheets can I fit in? Well, what's running here is this is 96 inches wide by 48 inches deep. And what I've told it is how many 20 by 11s can you cut out of this? And you can see these lines here. It's how many times it's tried. We can go back through as it kind of like has been figuring it out. Now this has only been running about five minutes and I, I've told it to try and fit 30 because I know that's more just mathematically that it can't have that many. But what that does to it is it will just keep trying to find the best pattern. And so right now we're at 17. So let's even say the sheet was $30. Divide that by 17, you know. Let's bring my calculator down. That's, you know, third. Oh, come on, really? 30 divided by 17. Hey, less than $2. So, you know, now you can throw any crazy SVG at this that you can make up. So let's, let's stop this. And let's go back. Let's delete everything. Let's just throw a six. No, let's say it's 12 by six little piece. And we select this sheet option that tells it that that is the sheet to the material that we're going to cut out of. Let's import a little control horn I've made. And let's just give it a crazy big number. And we will say start nest. So what it's going to do now is it's going to sit there. We're at 126 right now, right off the bat. And it's going to find the best configuration that it can for as long as you let it run, how many you can fit on there. Now, I know from previous tests, I've gotten up to like 137 before I stopped it. <clears throat> now you'll see some blue lines kind of glowing. What it's going to do is right now it's kind of set up for a laser. So it's going to overlap lines. So it only has to make one path and it'll cut essentially both pieces out. And that's kind of part of the uh, time saved over here. But there's lots of settings to uh, move pieces apart and stuff. So pretty pr cool program. Um, you know, if you, especially if you have to repeat a bunch of cuts and the nice thing is is once you have this and you figured it out you export this out as an svg you can print that out full size you know you can send it to a laser you, you then have that forever you you now know like the best configuration so anyways cool little program i thought i'm going to try using it hope you guys have a nice weekend